how to add custom sidebar to your WordPress site as well as adding custom sidebar per page basis and that's what I'm going to show you let's imagine that your WordPress site has this sidebar and you want to create your own custom sidebar perhaps as an addition and so on all you need to do is log into your dashboard press on appearance press on editor now the tricky part here creating custom sidebars on WordPress is the theme that you're using because most themes will register the sidebar in functions.php file now word of caution anytime you edit functions.php file you absolutely must back it up before you make any changes you can simply press on ctrl a on your keyboard and then ctrl c and perhaps open up a text document and then paste everything so you have a backup but what if you're not seeing this functions.php file here then you can log into your web hosting account press on file manager and locate wp-content folder within that you'll have themes folder and you simply select the theme that is making your wordpress site work and then locate functions.php using web hosting method once again download the file first so that you have a backup because then you can right click and add it and all you need to do is simply search for register sidebar as you can see my theme is using a function within that we have register sidebar right all you need now have to do is simply copy that whole block okay and then let's say we paste it just underneath it now some wordpress themes they use frameworks now if that's the case you'll still have that register sidebar but it may not be within the functions file i'll show you a sample so that you're aware just in case you're using a different theme that is creating register sidebar somewhere else let's take a look at this particular framework it's a different theme but register sidebar is not within the normal functions.php file so if we open that up you can't see register sidebar if i search for it on this current document find all you see it's not there so where is it it's within the framework within generators sidebar generators and within that you'll see so i've shown you two different ways just in case if you're using a theme that is using frameworks and it has the register sidebar somewhere else but the procedure is the same so let's go back to our custom sidebar so basically we've just copied what was here and pasted it just underneath what we now have to do is make this id be different let's call that id 7 for lucky 7 here we can say our custom sidebar if we want it doesn't really matter what we place in there as long as it makes sense to us our custom sidebar for wordpress now here you have before widget and as you can see after widget in this example it's wrapped within sections but you can actually change that before widget to be within the paragraph or within a side and so on depending on what it is that you want to accomplish but i would encourage you to leave that in place just know that you can change things here as well basically what it's saying is before the sidebar is created by wordpress a section will be blurted out and afterwards that section will be closed same is true for before title and after title as well so all we've done here we've just copied paste and changed the id let's make changes as in let's save changes 
let's take a look at our widgets now and we should see our custom sidebar show up here somewhere. Our custom sidebar for WordPress. So once again, that is coming from here. The heading is coming from here. Let's save changes so that you see exactly what's going on. Let's refresh the page. It'll be sidebar mine now. Okay. Now we've got that as worked out as in we just registered a different custom sidebar now and wordpress is aware of that sidebar but let's go and do this let's grab a text widget and place it into that sidebar and let's say title let's say hello world and let's save changes let's save changes and let's go and take a look at that sidebar. Now that's saved. Let's refresh the page to see if it shows up here. The thing is, it won't show up there yet because we need to do one more thing. And that is this. On our theme folder under appearance under editor, we need to locate sidebar.php. Now, once again, if you can't see that through here, your web hosting will come to your rescue. Simply download the sidebar first, so you make a backup, then you can edit it from the web hosting. Basically, you're editing the same file. So now, what we need to do, what we need to do is simply do this now. let's grab this okay all that sidebar needs is this php here so keep an eye out on this question mark and a forward bracket there because that basically says end of php and you can simply paste it as such and then say sidebar 7 so you can now use this let's update the file and now let's refresh the page to see what shows up there. Yes, it did work because that is the sidebar. I know it went aside there because I'll show you why that is. Because it's my theme here. It's not wrapped within anything. So I could have easily grabbed this. Copy the whole block here. Okay, I need to show you my local copy because it's color coded. Sidebar.php. Okay, let's take a look again. Okay, let's do this. Let's make room for it. And let's say. Let's leave that there. Let's uncomment that. Okay, what I needed was this here, right? So let me refresh that. Then sidebar 7 is our custom sidebar. Let me save that. Let me upload it online so I can show you properly. Now, look what happens now. Let's refresh. It should go to its normal place. It didn't because it didn't save okay let's refresh again okay where is it where is it that's our custom sidebar but as i've said i was going to show you how to blurt it out on a per page basis that means let's take contact us page or wordpress plugins page let's grab this page let's grab this page remember take a look at this here it says edit page that means you are on a page for WordPress if you are on a blog post it will say edit post so always keep an eye out on that as we can see okay now because I know it's a WordPress page let me simply copy the URL and say if 
is page because we know we are on a page and open bracket for a single quote close the single quote close the brackets and put colon there if this page yes now we need to wrap that as such and we need to now end if statement let's save changes let's put this online now let me refresh this we'll see it here but if I was to be on a different page it's not gonna show up there let's refresh it on this blog post to see and it shouldn't be there as we can see so that's how you create your custom sidebars now what if you wanted to have a custom sidebar on a blog post single blog post then you follow the same procedures but this time instead of saying is page you say if is single single blog post and simply change the permalink to match your WordPress blog post now this sidebar will only show on a single blog post name Yoast SEO plugin focus keywords explain let's demonstrate that point by uploading that file online let's refresh and this page should no longer have that there because we've changed the condition now let's have a look and voila it's gone at the end of the day creating custom sidebars whether it is on category basis per page or blog post pages will definitely come in handy as you're growing your wordpress site I thank you once again for learning with Renka and I'll talk with you in the next video session.